Well, good morning to you and welcome back everybody. We are in the kitchen where Mike Witcher is creating a little appetizer feast for us this morning yeah. on this Thanksgiving. A lot of people also in the kitchen, so we thought we would join you. <laughs> That's the way it is, right? Yeah. Thanksgiving, uh, you know, get some coffee, get some OJ, maybe a mimosa in your hand. I'm not judging <laughs> on one single bit. Uh, no mimosas here on the, uh, on the, on the, in the kitchen right now. But what we're going to start now with is we're going to do, and I'm going to teach you how to do a, uh, a pumpkin pie in a mason jar. Uh, seems appropriate. So it's super easy. you got pumpkin pie uh, puree, you got the evaporated milk, and then two little tiny mason jars. Uh, but you've heard me and the ladies on the show make fun of me uh, for being uh, the sous vide. Well, there, folks, here is... Here lies the sous vide machine right there. It's basically uh, an immersion heater. And so you set it to a certain temperature and it keeps that water at a temperature you cook in the, in the temperature that you exactly want. You're you can't overcook it, you can't undercook it. It just sits in it's there. It's magical. It's magical. It is Wait, the best thing in the world. You are doing your turkey, aren't you? I'm doing my turkey that way today and it takes 24 hours to do. <laughs> 24 hours. Two hours for like some poached eggs, but either way, that's neither here nor there. All right, so <laughs> let's move right along. Abby, you want to help me out this morning? Yeah, I do. Okay, so you want to put your apron fact. on? I brought you an apron. I know it messes with my microphone. It wasn't as cute, was it? No, it was adorable. It's my wife's. I love uh, it. Okay, so we got pumpkin puree. We're gonna throw that in there. Okay. Uh, we basically just mix everything in to this. Uh, you do. You have like a cup. It's like everything was in grams, uh, but basically a cup of sugar. Grams. Gonna, yeah, because I don't know. How'd just, that happen? Was this I, a Pinterest recipe? No, this one's not. This is the sous vide recipe. Oh. Uh, okay, so you do, uh, so what we have is we have the pumpkin puree, and then we have all the spices and the sugars. Uh, so here we've got, um, here, you dump that in. Okay, you look we've, through the list. You can tell. Well, yeah, no, we've we're got gonna post these recipes nutmeg. Online, but. Yeah, we've got nutmeg. We've got ground ginger, uh, basically about a teaspoon of each. Um, here, you can keep that going. I gotcha. I'll open them, you dump. I gotcha. Uh, we've got nutmeg, ground ginger, we've got cinnamon, uh, we have all spice. I mean, your classic pumpkin pie spices, right? Yes. Um, this would go in a good beer, by the way. <laughs> good old pumpkin Ideas. beer or stout. Are, are you brewing right now in your head? Oh, well, yeah, I'm always brewing in my head. Um, that was some and something. And then that was, uh, that was uh, all spice. A little pinch of cinnamon, or okay. a little pinch of salt. You gotta always have a little bit of salt. Okay, you kinda um, wanna probably get this down so it'll mix together well. Boy, I, this little food processor this is easy. Is do you not have one? So, no, I, I do, but I don't use it near enough. You're doing all this, and I'm sitting there going, why do I not use this all the oh. time? Okay, let's okay. put the lid on. We'll get that mixed up just a little bit here. Okay, we'll mix that up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add an egg, two eggs. So two eggs go in there. And I don't know, I'm not a pie maker. So I don't know if this is what you typically add to a pie. I, do. I think it is. Um, and then some evaporated milk goes in there. You can keep it going. Okay. I don't even know what evaporated milk really even it, is. Literally, I don't either. I'd probably rather not know. But I mean, what? You had a dollar there. You had 50 cents there. The spices, no. $15 I mean, this, for keep it going a little all bit more. three. Oh, really? Here, well, let's get the stuff on the sides. I was thinking we would do that, yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. You know how you um, have to do that. And then, so this actually makes, I think this makes, uh, because it says you're supposed to put them in four ounce mason jars. So it actually makes several. I've got, these are bigger than four ounce mason jars right here. Um, so I just brought them for show and for, you know, to show you, but. Okay. So that's all you do. And now right? we pour it in. So what right? you're going to do is you pour these into the mason jars. Okay. Um, we're going to do that for you, because <laughs> I've got the apron on. Um, Is it, you probably want to do this over the sink. Oh yeah, that's fine. So no, pour that up, good. you okay. fill it up. Let me help okay. you. You going to open that okay. one up? Yeah. Thanks, Abs. You're welcome, my dear. We're and so if you have a sous vide, if you don't have one, you can't really do it this way. Um, I suppose you could try to keep the water temperature um, at 185 degrees, but that's not necessarily going to be possible And you have one. And these are, I mean, you, these range from... Uh, these sous vides range from anywhere from like $50 to 120 150 bucks. So literally, you just pop it in. Just drop it in carefully, Abby. Drop just it in. Just like that. And now it's just going to cook in the hot water. So like anything you sous vide, you cook to the temperature that you want it to be. So like you can cook steaks, uh, hamburgers and whatever, and you put them in a bag and you cook them. And so like your steak, you say you want medium rare, you can cook it to medium rare, then all you do is sear the steak on the other side. So, so it absolutely is a, a, it really a is brilliant good. way to cook. And so the other thing is I'm doing my turkey this way. The turkey just goes into a pot of hot water cooks for basically 24 hours it frees up your oven yeah, it frees up it, all your hands true, to but do what everything about the else crusty like buttery skin ah you still sear it in a pan when it's done 
So it will still be, I will post pictures. I will, sure. I want to see it. I want to see anyway, it. Anyway, so this is the cook. We got more recipes coming up this yeah, hour. Yeah, this is going to be fun.